of the of the scene of the crime. This building, this that ain't right. That ain't right. And all over the country, people are looking at us because all over the country, as you know, we are occupying the court. Liberty, liberty is not there. Our democracy cannot die. They cannot kill an idea. We are the embodiments of that idea, and we are democracy. Democracy is a living thing. It is not money. It is not corporation. The corporate thugs, the political hacks and hustlers cannot take away our liberty. We stand at a moment that is a teachable moment. It's a show and tell moment for those who are trying to find their way down Liberation Road. We stand on the front line. And one of the things you need to know, yeah, they will threaten you. Some of you may get hell on your job. Some of you will have family and friends who are going to say, what the hell are you doing? And you need to know that not only are you standing up and standing in person as instruments and bodies of democracy, but you're standing up for those who have lost their way and are wondering what to do. We must continue. We must continue. We occupy Buffalo. We occupy the courts. We occupy the politicians. We retain our democracy. Who's democracy? We demand, we demand representation. And remember what Dr. King said. There comes a time when silence is betrayal. We will not be silent. We will not be silent. We will not be silent. The scene of the crime, the CIS of the people. <laughs> but you can put down citizens' rights. Oh, yeah. And bad Legalize democracy. And democracy. 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 Legalize democracy. in this country. We had a situation before Citizens United where the corporations and the wealthiest 1% always had their will come before ours. They already had the ability to write backroom laws and then to push the politicians into passing those laws. And those laws were always the legislation that made sure there was more for them and less for us. And now, and now, our Supreme Court decides that they should be able to do that in an unlimited way. So when, when will those judges, that Supreme Court, Supreme Court, when are they gonna rule that the people's will is unlimited? When are they gonna say that what we want, that we can pour all the money we want into, into our political system? Because they know we don't have any. Right. People that have the money already run the system. So here we are today. Is this gonna be the last time you come out? No! no. Fix the problem, you coming out today. Is this it? Is this all we got? No! It means that each one of you here is gonna have to show up tomorrow, 
next day and the next time because your voice is getting smaller in this system unless you stand with me together. We all stand together. Unless we do that, it's going to get worse. It's going to get, we already had a bad situation and they created Citizens United. Exactly. Are they listening to us? No. Another world is possible. What's it going to take? That's right. Another U.S. is necessary. So start thinking about what it's going to take. It's going to take you and me standing arm to arm. Some of us are going to go to jail. Some of us are going to get arrested. But the reality is it's not going to change until we keep coming. Each wave, each wave of the 99% washing on the shores of this injustice until that injustice is washed away forever. happen overnight. Actually, their work in their little devious circle of how to steal democracy started in 1886. In 1888, we had a president that warned us that corporations needed to be controlled because corporations were an entity created by the state. And the state need not let something it creates control it. That was in 1888. In 1978, Franklin D. Roosevelt again warned the nation, we got to watch corporations because if we allow them to gain so much power to the point of where they take over the electoral process and indeed take over democracy, our liberty, we're going to be hurting bad. So I say that to say that the history, that as we acknowledge that we got to push back, there were others before us but there weren't as many as us. There were others before us with the same spirit, but didn't have the skills and the technology and the ability to do what we can do today. And so don't underestimate yourself. If you stand here, whether you know anybody or don't know anybody, you need to look at the rest of your family. And that ain't all of your family. There That's are right. others who are with us. As That's you've right. seen, all across the nation, right. Occupy, not only across the nation, all across the world. The world! Like-hearted, like-minded people are coming together like us to walk out in the streets of our city anywhere and declare we will have democracy. That's right! And we will! will we will have justice. That's right. We will not tolerate unjust acts occurring in buildings that are supposed to represent justice. We will not allow corporations, banks, or any of the money changers to undermine anybody. That's right. We will not allow houses to be taken. We will not allow people to lose their job because corporations want more money. We will not allow corporations to travel abroad to create slave labor child abuse, we will not tolerate. And you got to let that be in your spirit. And you got to believe that. Part, part of what you need to do in your affirmations to self is to speak power to yourself. To, to bring, to turn it on. To know that, look, we don't have to drop no bombs. We don't have to shoot nobody. That's right. The That's truth right. of our presence is more powerful than they know. That's right. And I want to tell you, anybody on the front line of an issue may become a victim. No problem. Anytime you fight any kind of battle, We're victims in any kind now. of struggle, there will always be those that after you have done and bared the brunt of doing what you must do, that there will be those who will walk in after the work we've done and who will reap the benefits. But don't worry about that. Because your task on the planet is to do good while you can. 
is to help somebody while you can. Not to say later on, oh, I wish I had a...